All right, folks, after a short break, we now continue with week 10 here in El Paso, Texas. Paul, who we have for race number five. Race number five will feature Zach Olson, who has done pretty well so far. He has five and four after nine races, going for win number six of the current season. He'll be taking on Kevin Days, Jeff Nass, and Al here Jr. and sign the license to drive. Everyone is on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Okay, so Zach Arson is trying his best to stay up on 500 this week. So that he'll have a good chance of qualifying for at least next season's 2019 roster, but preferably a 2019 playoff spot as a matter of fact. Right now, Jeff announced ready to vote, and he's dancing to the beat. And there goes Zach Arson. He is going to have coming annually up in front, with Kenny Lakes right on his tail in second place. <coughs> And let's see who's going to get the only toss on this week. And that only toss on this race will be made by Al here, Julian. Sound the license to drive. And number 7 and 8 all go as fast as we take a little closer on of these two. So these two challenges are going to be left behind on the competition for a while. <coughs> number 7 and 8 both really need a lot of catching up to do it due to that nap. As B was number 2 in this race, we made by Zach Orson. And look at this. Zach Orson is trying to take the lead away from Kenny Days. Kenny Days hit the water and managed to make it to the other side, but Zach Orson is trying to make a statement in the year one, trying to spoil Kenny Days to tell his first long way win of the season. By the way, who got the next class viewers? It's number two, <coughs> who dominates over the fourth of the child in fourth place, battling with Alan uh, Senior. Now he's junior for fourth place, and by now, guess who's getting left behind in the competition as he passed the one minute mark? It's number eight, not two. But it's number one, who will get the next command. Because twenty about we're out here during for fifth place. Zach Orson currently has the lead heading into the sapphire portion of the course. With Jeff now is not too far behind in second place. And then here comes Jeff now is make trying to make a statement in the early run. As the next BS we made by number two. That makes his second BS race. And he continues to dominate over the four seven channel. Number 8, meanwhile, is getting all lower in last place. He really needs some help, but I don't think that is going to happen at all. He's going to be left behind for sure. Next, we have Mark Sue, number 7, who's trying to lead number 1, and out here injury in the dust, battling for 6th place. And back with fun, Zach Arson is making his way towards Waterfall, but here comes Jeff now is he's probably catching up to him in a hurry, and Kenny is also feeling need to catch up. He gets the next command, SPS. But I highly doubt he'll get any wins for the rest of the season. Not for all. <clears throat> and it looks like Zach Austin is going to defend the lead over Jeff Nass. He is going to give a little bit of room to run more ahead of Jeff Nass. So he is going to stay above 500 for the week. As Kenny Day takes back to Max Pius, Jeff Nass won't have enough distance to catch up to Zach Austin in time. Zach Austin stays above 500 in his win loss record this week. Over Jeff Nellis and Kenny Nays. Jeff Nellis will come in second place, and Kenny Nays will have to come in third place. Well, he's still win with us after 10 races. We'll see how he fails in the year one. As number seven, we'll have a next command SPS, and I do believe that is what he's doing for this race. Number eight, can't just forget about this race. He's getting all alone in last place behind the pack. Alright, so Zach Olison is now six and four. That's why I can watch you just suck on some of my amazing victory. And we'll be right back with more slang action after this.